I've got this battery operated uh, digital radon uh, detector monitor. And so let's open up and see what we got. So got the batteries installed, it's all set to go. So these radon uh, monitors are pretty important because radon can be a very harmful uh, thing to be breathing in. And so you're gonna wanna know, so that way if you need to put a mitigation unit in. So this uh, will tell you what your levels are. And if you take a look, you can see that it has uh, both a short-term average and a long-term average. And that's important because the long-term average is the more accurate reading but the short term will give you a quick snapshot of what's happening. And so when you set this up, like I have it now, you wanna go put it in place for at least 24 hours the first time you use it, and then you'll get your initial reading. But the encouragement is to leave this in place for a longer term, because then you'll get a far more accurate because the radon can, uh, readings can vary over time. So if you get that average over a longer period of time, you have a better reading, a better understanding of what uh, the actual radon level in, uh, is in your house. So this is a, a great product and I'm looking forward to, to seeing my results. I've had the radon monitor down in my basement for a couple days and so uh, now I, you can see the, the values that are picking up here. And so the long term, which is the more accurate reading, which goes over several days, uh, is at a nice level. And then the short term also lets me know where it's been at. So. Um, that's how it works. Again, the long term is going to be the more accurate data. That's the number that you're going to want to be paying attention to. But very simple to use, very good radon monitor.